the way that I look on my swimming career is as long as I'm physically capable of doing it. You know, I don't want to look back in, you know, 30 years and say, man, I could have kept swimming. Why didn't I do it when I had the chance and opportunity? Whether or not you make the Olympics, who cares? Just, you know, ha have fun with those opportunities that you're given. And that's how I want to approach it. Do you feel like um, you can bring the same intensity focus to it? I mean, now with being married with two kids. You know, when I'm at the pool deck, when I'm training, when I'm at a meet, I'm very serious and very intense. When I'm at home, I don't think about swimming at all. You know, I'm with my kids, I'm with my husband, I'm being a mom and a wife, and that's my number one priority in life. And swimming is kind of my ho hobby that I take pretty seriously. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of people think that my parents probably really kind of pushed me into the sport or really were, um, intense about it and my parents were very loosey-goosey it was more me being very self-driven and wanting to do it and wanting you know my parents kind of had to help me chill out a little bit i just i i loved the sport it was one thing to me that i felt like i knew how to do i was very confident with it i loved going to the pool and being in the water i just felt at home so um just wanted to be in the pool every single day i think it's just to think back about being 14 and winning a gold medal, just um, it kind of boggles my mind a little bit that I was at that um, point in my life to be able to do something like that. And I, I, I don't see a lot of negatives about it. I just kind of think that maybe it was just hard for me to handle a lot of the tension after the fact. You know, I was a very kind of shy little girl who loved being um, blending in. And all of a sudden I was kind of in the spotlight for those moments and that was hard. Yeah, I mean, I think you feel like this certain amount of expectations from people, even if they don't have that expectation, you, you are thinking that they want you to keep performing and doing and you know meet, meeting these standards so you put a lot of pressure on yourself about those things about well, I think there's ups and downs um, when you get attention just mm -hmm. it's it there's moments that are fun you're getting invited to fun parties or movie premieres and doing things like that and then the downs are pe you're opening yourself up for people to say whatever they want about you you know they can say any sort of negative or positive thing about you and at first, I think that can be really hard for people to get used to, um, kind of have that thick skin. And um, I've, I have figured it out. It's been long enough that I have, but I know a lot of the younger kids, it's probably difficult to deal with. Yeah. Well, I think what I, especially because I work with so many young athletes and I wanted it to be, I didn't want to talk to them and be like, hey, I'm this, everything's been so great and I've had this awesome career and everything's perfect because that's not the reality and that's not what they're dealing with in their life either. So, and that was kind of the point of my book is like, here it is. This is my hot mess moment, like you like to say, and you know, just put it all out there because we're, this is what we go through. And not just being an athlete it's just you know being a person trying to go through life it's going to be a roller coaster you have dark moments great moments um but to realize that when you are maybe stuck in a rut or something really serious is going on that to not be embarrassed or ashamed and that it's okay to reach out for help and it took me a long time to realize that um, my husband is the one that's really kind of turned my life around and helped me you know become a healthier happier person and and, but, but it's okay to rely and lean on people.